And that's why you find people find a lot of comfort when they've reverted to Islam. They find joy, yet they had all the freedoms of doing whatever they wished and willed before that. They tattooed themselves, they went to the clubs, they went to the pubs, they had alcohol intoxicants, they didn't even have a term known as adultery or fornication. They did what they wanted, when they wanted, how they wanted, with who they wanted, and they had all the money on, the, on earth. They ate what they wanted, when they wanted, how they wanted, where they wanted, and they were not happy. There was no deep contentment in their lives. Allah says, discipline yourself. Start following the rules of the Almighty who made you. You find solutions to all of this. You don't just do as you please. If you're a believer, you do what pleases Allah and you will achieve the contentment. Look at the faces of those who have good habits. You pick it up straight. This person really has a decent life, mashallah. They respect themselves to begin with. They carry themselves in a specific way. That's why when Allah describes the true believers, Allah says they are the ones who walk on the earth with a lot of humility. They work, walk on the earth in a beautiful way. Immediately they recognize that these people are worshippers of Allah. So it's because when a person is, becomes a worshipper of themselves or a worshipper of the devil, there are signs that will show that, it will reflect that this person is a person who's lost themselves. They don't even respect them, themselves. They have no level of values, morals, you know, or it's a very low level or whatever else it may be. Or they've decided to discard all of that and not even consider it important. They might claim that, you know what, it's my choice, perhaps from a secular perspective, like we've said in the past. But if you call yourself a believer, and if you say, I believe in revelation, well then, that would mean you have put revelation in front, like what we've done. May Allah Almighty grant us true belief and make us true submitters.